depends on what category you're shopping in. Yeah. Um, so we have in the book towards the very end, we have a chapter on some practical guides. Like Victoria mentioned, we don't have specific product references. So instead, we gave some general guidelines depending on which channel you're shopping in. So say if you're going to, say, on Amazon, you can buy anything on Amazon. And that's actually really scary. So you can buy chemical peels on Amazon. We kind of gave a percentage where... Um, I'd say 30% glycolic, you can probably use at home, it's reasonably safe. But on Amazon, you can find things up to 70% glycolic acid, and that's just not, don't do it. <laughs> and the regulation on Amazon isn't great, so sometimes you'll find products that just don't really follow proper guidelines for mm -hmm. even proper manufacturing. So. That those are all red flags of like, hey, maybe this brand doesn't quite know what it's doing, and that's not a great sign. Yeah. yeah, one of the classic examples we give is sometimes you'll find products, and on their ingredient list, they'll write vitamin C, but that's not an the actual proper ingredient, name. ingredient labeling. Yeah. So what is the proper? It depends on the molecule, so it's ascorbyl is something. It's either ascorbic acid, magnesium, ascorbyl phosphate, so on and so forth. That's the actual ingredient name. Have you found the pendulum swinging, like, since you first started the company, where oh, people yeah. are, like... Like, at least for me, we had someone on the podcast who, uh, they're developing a sunscreen, and really, it's just mineral sunscreen. And I was excited, but her whole challenge is she has to get people to understand that there's a difference between mineral sunscreen and oh, wow. what yeah. everyone else puts on Definitely comes a, in the grocery come store, mm -hmm. right? And then the other issues like SPF and that whole basically marketing scheme, I guess, yeah. is the way, best way of putting it. Mm -hmm. And so it's the problem with the podcast is like we talk to people like you guys. And so in my head, it's always like I have this feeling of like, oh, the whole market's getting educated. But do you guys see that in real time? Like obviously you guys are the feedback loop in some way. Yeah, no, I think... I mean, since we started to now, like, some of the changes in the industry, I don't like to credit us. <laughs> For example, percentages of actives are just, like, required. Like, you know, you'll see that now they'll use that in the labeling and marketing, which we think is great. That means, like, things are now more ingredient-centric, right? But now we have an issue of people diluting what that percentage might mean or like getting too crazy with the percentages because now people realize like, oh, I need to make sure I actually have enough of this. So I need to go overboard on percentages. So, you know, like, but seeing that we understand that, hey, the consumer is starting to become more and more aware. They're starting to realize like, hey, there are th ways I can look for a better insurance policy that this skincare will work for me. So it's things like that where we're like, it's, honestly great to see but i think that makes it harder for someone who doesn't know anything about skincare to try to step into it dip their toes in you know because now it's like changed so much so yeah in the example you gave we definitely see that like nowadays i assume if you're not a complete skincare newbie most people you meet will know the difference between mineral and chemicals on screen yeah. like that's something that's much more commonplace now yeah and the other thing is that the industry realizes that labels are very important. So now you hear things like clean beauty, yeah. you hear reef safe, you hear like, there's all these stickers now mm -hmm. that follow every product. You know, the idea is, oh, I make it easier for the consumer to be like, I've ticked off all my boxes, but then it kind of dilutes certain like values and like the way things are formulated, it can like kind of skew that that judgment so it's good and bad i don't know how how else to say it yeah yeah it's hard